All new tonight, she hung on as long as she could. But a Big Island woman who ended up in the ocean on a dark and windy night did not make it. For more than an hour, her boyfriend says she floated offshore while waiting for rescue. Her Eddie Dowd is here with both sides of this tragedy. The victim's boyfriend says they were watching the waves together around 2 a.m. Saturday on a cliff near Hawaiian Paradise Park. When she fell into the water, he says she survived the plunge but did not survive the hours-long wait for help. She was a loving, caring person. She loved her kids more than anything. She had a lot of fun, a lot of joy in life. She's always giggling and laughing. Memories are all Dylan Gap has left of his girlfriend, Kala'i Reyes, after the 29-year-old was swept away off the coast of Hawaiian Paradise Park early Saturday morning. His grief is mixed with anger because he feels first responders should have done more to save her. Hawaii County Police say they responded along with firefighters within seven minutes of the 911 call. I had to get a raft to her. They didn't have a flotation device. I got the raft out to her and then I looked around and I said, okay, let's get a rope to her so she doesn't drift away. And they went, oh, we don't have any rope. I said, can you get some rope? They said, uh, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll make a call. They never made a call. To sit there and watch this girl for 45 minutes to an hour suffer and scream for help and to see him sit there and do absolutely nothing and just say, oh, a boat's coming eventually. The fire truck was not required to carry ocean rescue equipment, and it was 2 a.m. Police say too dark and dangerous for them to go into the water, especially with a large north swell running. We've got that high surf advisory again, mainly for north shores. We requested services from the fire department for a rescue boat. Um, we attempted to call for a Hawaii Fire Department helicopter to see if they could assist um, and also called the Coast Guard. Gap says after an hour watching his girlfriend cling to the raft, the rescue boat and helicopter still hadn't come, so he ran to get fins to swim out himself, but when he came back, the first responders had lost sight of her. HFD tells us it was too windy to fly its helicopter that night, and the rescue boat had to come from Hilo about 15 miles up the coast and arrived at 4 a.m. A helicopter eventually arrived and found Reyes' body miles down the coast. Her boyfriend says he can't stop thinking of her slowly drifting away. Her sitting on that raft screaming, help, what do I do now? What do I do now? And me screaming at her to just wait, babe. Wait there. Don't do anything. They're going to come get you. They're going to come get you. And I lied to her because they didn't come get her.